Hello and welcome once more to Red Gaming Tech. My name is Amata. Today is still the 28th of January and I have a little bit of an update for you today regarding Starbound as of course it is currently in early access and the PC and Mac versions will both be receiving a new patch for the current beta build that will once again be wiping all characters, ships and worlds. Now, Chucklefish has said, they are of course the developers behind Starbound, that it will be the last time that such a drastic move will be needed, and that they kind of added, hopefully, anyway, and they said, quote, this patch will wipe everything, characters, ships, and worlds. It will definitely be the last time we'll need to wipe characters or ships and will hopefully be the last time we'll need to wipe worlds. The problem is that the organization of planets may change so if they go muck with a planet how to put it in the celestial map or if they build a biome we remove or something so no promises but we'll try but promises on the player slash ship and new additions will be coming in the patch we'll be including a permadeath game mode weapons and more decorative hats. That being said, Chucklefish are still working up the kinks, of course, it is a beta after all, particularly with the Mac release, and they said, quote, We're aware that there may be issues with the Steam update crashing the Mac build at the moment. It's an issue with Steam. Disable the Steam overlay to fix it in the meantime. So there you have it. If you are pay playing the Mac version of the beta of Starbound and you're having those problems, that is a temporary workaround until, of course, they officially patch that particular problem out of the game. Now, they have, of course, posted full patch notes. I'm not going to go through them all because the list is rather lengthy, but I will be linking it in the description. But I'm going to just discuss the additions um, on top of everything else that I've discussed here. As I said, new game modes as and as well as a few new weapons but they actually give a little bit of information here about the weapons that will be coming into the game. We've got revolvers, pulse rifles, hand grenades, shivs, floran needlers and floran thorn hammer as well as more random encounters and possibly even more content and the human guards will actually now wear soldier uniforms. So a few nice little changes especially the addition of a permadeath mode for those of you who really like a challenge as if this game wasn't challenging enough from what I've seen in the gameplay of it. Hopefully we can actually manage to get our hands on a key once the wipe is completed but no promises made. Anyway that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Yeah. <laughs>